Princess Aiko is the only child of the Emperor of Japan. From birth she lived in luxury. She always had many servants and had everything that other children could only dream of. However, her fate is very convoluted. What rumors surround her and why is it so difficult to be a princess in Japan? Keep watching to find out. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! The Japanese value their monarchy, which is over 2000 years old. However, the emperor in this country today doesn't have real power, but only pays tribute to traditions. The 125th Emperor of Japan, Akihito, reigned the country for 30 years. In 2019, his eldest son, Naruhito, ascended to the throne. People waited a long time for a boy to be born in Naruhito's family and his wife, Masako. Their son would become the next heir to the throne. But everyone was disappointed, because Masako has been unable to conceive for several years and when she finally had a long-awaited child, it was a girl. The baby was named Princess Aiko, which means child of love. Her parents really adored her, she grew up in love and care and was surrounded by increased attention. However, the imperial family seriously thought about their future. At that time, none of the children of Emperor Akihito had male ears. The fact is that the imperial throne in Japan passes only through the male line. The imperial family began to vigorously discuss this issue. Some family members suggested changing the order of succession so that the throne could be passed down through the female line as well. In this case, Princess Aiko could become the empress. However, in 2006, the emperor's youngest son, Akihito, had a boy, Hisahito. Today he is 16 years old and will eventually become the emperor. That's why Princess Aiko has almost no chance of the throne. For this reason, her parents tried to raise her as an ordinary child. At the age of seven, Aiko entered a prestigious school in Tokyo. Despite her high imperial status, she had to face the usual difficulties of any child. As many of local media wrote, her classmates bullied her. No one cared about her high position. The girl experienced severe stress and even refused to go to school for some time. Her mother had to accompany her during the lessons and then pick her up after classes early. Reviewers wrote that the girl grew up very sensitive due to the condition of her mother, Princess Masako, who suffered from depression. However, no one knows what could have caused it. Also, when Aiko was a little girl, some media speculated that she might have been autistic. Such assumptions appeared due to the fact that the girl almost never showed emotions in public, she almost never smiled. However, these rumors were not confirmed. Perhaps Aiko was worried about her mother's condition and her relationship with her classmates. Since childhood, Princess Aiko has been a lonely girl. Animals are her best friends. She always loved to play the piano and violin. The princess has a talent for writing, she even writes scripts. As a child, she also loved playing sports and was a cheerleader on a sports team. At 17, the princess made her first independent trip abroad to Eton College. Reports from an unnamed palace source close to the family claimed that Aiko provides her mother Masako with emotional support in her new role as empress. In February 2020, she was accepted at Gakushin University, where she will major in Japanese language and literature. Aiko had begun accompanying her parents at public appearances. Since she was 16 years old, she couldn't attend her father's ceremonies while she was a child. When she came of age in 2021, after her 20th birthday, she began to participate in formal ceremonies and was awarded the Grand Cordon of the Order of the Precious Crown by the Emperor. She attended the 2022 New Year celebration at the Imperial Palace as her first public event as a working member of the Imperial family. 
Her first press conference took place in March 2022. Princess Aiko spoke about her personal life, family and current events in the world. She also talked about her cousin Mako Kamura, who married the commoner last year and left the imperial family. I will always remember with gratitude how she was so friendly and kind to me, Aiko added according to people. As her cousin, I pray that she will be happy for many years. When asked about her plans to marry, Aiko said she had just finished her second year of university where she is studying Japanese literature and had no clear picture after that. So, Princess Aiko may repeat the fate of her cousin Mako. The fact is that, according to tradition, a male member of the imperial family can marry a commoner. A woman can also become the wife of a non-noble person, but at the same time she will have to leave the imperial family and give up all privileges. Whatever choice Princess Aiko makes, in any case a sad a fate awaits her, it is unlikely that she will be able to find a husband among the royals, because there are almost no noble men in Japan. If she becomes the wife of a commoner, she will have to leave the imperial court and become an ordinary woman. If she decides to stay in the imperial family, she will forever be lonely. However, in the Japanese imperial family, women are increasingly choosing to marry an ordinary man. Her aunt, Princess Sayako Kuroda, married a simple office clerk 17 years ago. She had to learn how to drive a car and go shopping on her own. However, she is happy and never regretted her decision. Marrying for love but giving up titles is a happier fate, isn't it? In addition, Princess Aiko has already said that it is not easy for her to fulfill all the duties of an emperor. The only child of Japanese emperor Naruhito has said that the imperial family rituals make her rather tense. By the way, according to recent polls, Almost 80% of the Japanese agree that the title of emperor should be passed down through the female line too. However, conservatives seek to preserve the 2000-year-old monarchy in its original form, so they instruct on the preservation of traditions. Do you think Princess Aiko could become Empress of Japan? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time.